Uh, hats off to Danny and um, their group. Um, just outplayed us, outfought us, outcompeted us, um, and uh, uh, we just, for whatever reason, didn't have a ton of fight tonight. Um, that's uh, uh, disappointing uh, from from our standpoint. Um, you know, it's 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 a hard deal when you're when you're you know without arguably the best player in college basketball, and you've had a defensive coverage of of one playing things one way, and um, you know Dante Scott did a great job of of taking advantage of the fact he wasn't there, um, and. If anybody watched the first game, you know, Kofi pretty much dominated the last eight minutes of that game. Um, but, uh, you know, I thought offensively the first half we got whatever we wanted, um, but I just didn't think we had any fight. And, you know, to go on the road and, and uh, uh, to win on the road in this league, you better have fight every night. And uh, um, I just, I didn't like our grit tonight. But obviously, not having Kofi affects you uh, at the rim defensively. But what outside of fight, what didn't you like about how you guys defended the rim, especially? Well, I thought Fats did a great job of, of attacking our ball screen coverage. Uh, we play a certain way, um, and uh, and then I was really disappointed. We had so many. We had three straight breakdowns on Dante Scott giving him threes. Uh, we never give him threes, and. Uh, but you know, again, it's it's um, you know we might have to make a tweak depending on how long Kofi's out and and what that status looks like. Um, but um, you know, you, you you set a defense for a certain way, and and no offense to Ben and Omar, they're not him. And uh, um, but uh, they got the ball in the paint consistently, and uh, then I thought uh, Q did a great job. Got a couple offensive rebound putbacks. Um, you know, we were cooking early uh, offensively and, and you, you give them the, the, the four offensive rebounds, the seven points in transition at half, and it's a game. And, um, you know, again, we turn over bug, reared its ugly head at the end of the first half. And, and um, but yeah, it was mostly fats in the paint. 35 attempts from three point range, I guess. You don't have a whole lot of options if you don't have your guy in the middle. Um, Pretty observant, yeah. That's the way it's going to be. I mean, we're, we 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 didn't get the ball in the paint enough, and that's that's one of the things that you know we're going to have to figure out without Kofi. Is there are a lot of ways to get the ball in the paint, Rob? And and I didn't mean to be sarcastic there, but um, but yeah, we were going to have to shoot the ball from, and make some threes, and um, but we didn't drive it there to get enough layups and enough penetration. So, and on that note. Not the greatest night for uh, Ravello. No, just he, he's, he told me before the game sitting on the table, he's sick. The trainer told me he's got a fever. Um, so he's, kid can't catch a break. Um, you know, he was 100.6 or something fever wise, had body aches. Um, you know, said he would try to go, but you know, I made, made my mind up pretty quick that everything he's been through that I wasn't gonna try to put him out there and. And, and stress him too much tonight. Brad, no uh, uh, substitutions in the first 10 minutes of the second half. Talk about your decision to, to leave those guys in for that long. We were and good. How, and, how, and how it affected your, the rest of the game. Yeah, we were good. I thought we were great. And then we had a couple of, um, you know, there was a Danny called a timeout um, early. Uh, you had back-to-back -back timeouts. So I thought that that was, uh, we were in a really good place there. Uh, we obviously got hurt when we went to the bench, um, you know, giving up a free throw rebound, um, you know, those little things right after we make substitutions, um, you know, just just the mental things that you can't do and went on the road. But I, I liked, I liked, I mean, we had two full timeouts along that period, and then the 12 minute media timeout. So there was actually three. Uh, so I, I felt great about our conditioning and where we were at. I don't think it impacted the last six minutes at all. Fred, I know you quipped. You had about a minute and a half with Kofi and Andre together before Kofi now goes out. Just how, how is your team trying to get through this and persevere um, through through a season that obviously you guys haven't been together? Yet? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, 
I mean, we've had, what, three guys in uniform every game. Uh, we've, well, there's no doubt we've had a very, very challenging season to this point. Uh, there's no doubt I've, tonight's another starting lineup. Um, you know, you don't lose one of the best point guards in the country for two months and just expect to throw him back in the mix. And, um, and Trent Frazier, he was big, big 10 player of the week. He's been phenomenal. Uh, and then, you know, you find out, you know, day, af day after the, or day of the Purdue game that your best player in college basketball, in my opinion, is out. And uh, so, you know, we, we played three games without him. We weren't great. Um, and uh, obviously we played pretty well for the 30 minutes he was out against Purdue. Uh, but, um, you know, tonight we just didn't have that fight. We didn't have that grit, uh, Jeremy. And, and, and when you lose a player that, you know, we'll have to we'll have to figure some things out. I thought Plummer did a great job early of, of, of getting opportunities and looks. But you know, we're going to be a team that uh, you will know, we'll have to make we'll have to figure some things out until you know Kofi's Kofi's return, whenever that is. Do you have any kind of information timeline? Anything? I have none. None. I just I know he's not available today, and and the, the way the protocol works, it's it's a sequence deal with with a lot of steps. So. Fred, um, at some point, Kofi's not going to be at this program. Don't know when that'll be, but do you guys have to adjust to when he's not here? Um, you know, is this kind of a, a preview of that? What that's going to have yeah, to be? Yeah, but it won't be in the middle of the season. Sure. There's a huge yeah. difference when you can plan and, you know, you, you, you work on things that, that you, um, and, and systemically, you put a program together and a place to play. I mean, we've been one of the best defenses in the country. Um, you know, we were seventh last year. Uh, we're, we're there the, again this year. A lot of that is based because we have a guy like that. When we don't, I sure as the hell won't do it. You know, it, it's not it's not something that you don't you don't adjust to. But uh, again, you got to be very careful. Uh, how many changes you make because you don't have a guy for, for what may be a short or a long period of time. I don't know. Uh, you know, we thought Corbello's was going to be a quick pretty period of time and it's nine weeks later. So, um, but yeah, you do that, all that stuff in the off season and um, try to replace those needs, but you play differently just like I did when we got Kofi. Time for two more questions. Is Coleman recovered? Is he okay now? He had the flu um, in, the, in the last game, and uh, but he he was back. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.